The first one we're gonna go to is the letter M, okay? That's the word what? Duh. 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 Very good, but I'm not gonna play right now, hold on. I'm gonna play our other videos first. We just got access through the district um, to use Facebook for a, a short period of time and to use YouTube so that really opened the door to you know introducing lessons, incorporating media into the lessons. Now there's an abundant material that we can use every day inside the classroom. If you really, really look, there's a really good chunk of great educational videos. You know, some are better than others, some better music, you know, catchy tunes, and you know, teaching about alphabet letters, phonics, um, math, numbers, there's everything out there. There's this really, really good company that's called Have Fun Teaching. And so I discovered it when, I mean, as soon as I found out we had YouTube access on school, I logged in quickly and we, it was the letter M for the week. So I just typed in letter M song and I found that video and we played it and it, you know, it's hip hop. So the kids really, really love it. So now we, we log on daily. That's my um, intro to my lesson. Or we have 10 minutes before lunch. I log in and we do numbers or you know calendar for the day. Just little spurts of time. Now that extra time where sometimes I read a book or sometimes we do a transition song. Now we have time for those enrichment videos from YouTube and we're just having a ball with those. Facebook, when I first created that page, it was for fast communication. A parent can just look at their phone. You know, every a, a lot of smartphones have the Facebook. They use the app and they're able to just access it. So, you know, they're at work, they want to check it out really quick. They look at their, their phone, Facebook. Oh, Mr. you know, my daughter's classroom is doing apples today. And right away they know it. any subject, any business, any classroom, any school can have a Facebook page. What I do is it's all educational. It's called Kinder Fun. And it's, it's not anything personal. It's all about education. It's no opinions. It's about sharing. It's about communicating with the community and parents. <clears throat> and it's just all about useful techniques that we're using that we find successful in the classroom. Overall, the Facebook experience has been awesome. You know, Venezuela and India and Australia, all these teachers who have liked my page. I almost have 500 likes on that page. But I've also met a lot of Harlingen teachers who have liked the page as well. And now we're getting to know each other through Facebook where we didn't even realize, hey, this teacher, I just met her, she's from Sam Houston. Or this teacher, you know, she's from Coakley. She doesn't even teach, you know, elementary, but she liked my page and we're collaborating that way. You know, oh, this website, yeah, let's go to that one together. They have resources K through 12, you know? So it's really, really helpful talking to teachers, you know, even here locally that you don't get to see every day. I would encourage other teachers to do this because you're giving a full access to parents. Imagine if you were the parent and your child was in that class. It, it makes you feel so much better to know, look what my child is learning. Instead of hoping that you'll get a chance to speak to the teacher that day or, you know, on Friday, I hope I catch her. You know, it's very busy when you come to drop off your students in the morning or after school. And this way, you know, you have a chance so you don't have to directly talk to me to know exactly what your child is doing.